Around 2.30 yesterday afternoon, police responded to reports of gunfire at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. There, a shooter who is now in custody opened fire on defenseless students and teachers. He murdered 17 people. It's time to make our schools a much harder target for attackers. When we declare our schools to be gun-free zones, it just puts our students in far more danger. The teacher would have shot the hell out of him before he knew what happened. As a parent, when you heard that the, the school is going to allow a, a certain staff to carry me, what, what was your thought about that? I'm okay with it. Yeah, why is that? I want my child to be protected. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why do you feel comfortable about it? Well, I have a school teacher daughter. She teaches fifth grade at Seminole, and I would like her to be armed because, first and foremost, she's going to protect her children before she protects herself, but if she's armed, she'll be able to protect all of them, including herself. I have a wife that's a teacher's aide at Oaks, and I've got two kids that are at the middle school. And I have no problem with certain staff being armed. Um, you know, they 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 go through training, and you know, I have no doubt in my mind that that they would they would protect the kids, and it's just a better way to protect. I mean, you can protect with a, a locked door, but if someone breaks through through the door, if there's someone there to be able to neutralize the situation I have no doubt that they would neutralize the situation so there may be some people who be like hey I'm really apprehensive around guns it's not and they never we never didn't grow up around it you feel like in a community like this it's a little bit more accepting or I mean and why is that I do I think because it's 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 ingrained in the culture down here I'm different than them. Yes, yeah, she, she's different. She didn't, she didn't grow up here. I don't, I don't we don't do guns at our yeah. home we don't I don't like guns yeah. I'm not a but yes, I work here with all these guns people. <laughs> um, but I still feel like, you know, it's a good choice for our children to have them in the school. You know, not our children, but the, the staff, if they're properly trained. Yeah, and, and that's the thing, you know, gun, guns are part of this culture. They've been brought up with it. They have. And, you know, and, and, and I know those that, that were trained to be in the schools, you know, they, they have the proper training. So that's... You know, it's it's. I guess you could say it's a little different culture down here. It's, it's more accepted. Superintendent Dean was telling us a little bit about how he had kind of brought up the idea of the of the carry policy to the board, but didn't necessarily think the board would be interested in it. But was surprised that that, that they were. I mean, did that? Can you tell me about your experience being on the board when you first heard about this? What your thoughts were? Um, I thought it was a no-brainer. Um, definitely. Uh, you, uh, you know, one of the things I. I and some of the other board members said was, you know, if you talk with the police chief, of course he had already done that. Um, Tony's always a step ahead. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, basically, um, there were some questions, concerns asked. Uh, what Tony didn't have answers for, he researched it and, and uh, they started working on it. Um, they were selective of who they. Of, of who talked about inter being interested and uh, and then they took them who the ones that Tony and, and uh, Skeeter decided on uh, they took them through training uh, they had to qualify mm -hmm. in shooting and uh, so it, that's pretty much how it was done as I remember yeah you called it a no-brainer why, why was that you know we have uh, cops in school uh, individual that goes between the three schools but uh, that's just one person covering three sites and uh, a lot of a lot of facilities um, so if you've got some more people that are trained and understand and and uh, uh, can have additional protection well uh, that's what I mean you know what I really wish that they would look at years ago the federal government came out with a program mm -hmm. that was uh, cops in school there's yeah. actually a grant. The federal money's available yeah. to put to put police, you know. And Okima actually years ago funded four officers to do that. And you know, as the money kept getting less and less, 
And now we do have a school resource officer. We have one. Mm -hmm. School pays for him when he's in, when they're in session, and the city pays for him for the summer months. But you know, to me, it just makes more sense that you know, if the federal government really wants to do something, if they would figure out a way how to fund that program again, yeah. and let the city supply back for those grants because it helps them in two ways. You know, it puts officers in the school, but also when the school's out, it also gives the city an additional resource to have officers in the summertime. Mm -hmm. So, but but that's just yeah. it's just one guy's opinion. So. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're talking to a couple parents out there uh, that work here for the city that said that they were really supportive of the policy. Was that the general consensus? Were there parents that were concerned at all? Or they... To be quite honest, I haven't had hardly any parents. Uh, but the ones that I see and work with and am friends with, uh, I've not heard any complaints on that side. I've not had a phone call uh, from any parent against it ever. Um, so, um, and generally in Okima, if someone doesn't like something, they're going to call a school board member or all of us and, you know, let us know what they don't like. So, and I, I, like I said, I haven't heard a uh, complaint one about it. When you say, and I'm not, I won't get into a big argument about this, when you say guns aren't safe, guns are as safe as, a, as the individual that's got it in their hands. If that individual doesn't know how to use it, or is in, out on intent to hurt somebody, they're gonna, they're gonna hurt somebody. Um, if I've got a gun, that gun doesn't kill anybody. Who I point it at, you know, or if it's game or whatever, uh, that's me doing the, so a gun never hurt anybody. Uh, a gun's only as safe as, like I said, the person who has it in their hands uh, gonna be with it. Um, and I realize that there's, there's people that are uh, looking to hurt other people. You know, they're always taking things up. Um, you know, hopefully we have taken uh, the right step and been proactive to hopefully head head something off here at Okima. Um, at least, at least we're trying to be.